What's up guys, that really gross guy here. We are back to take a quick look at the new Warframe Zaku. So pretty excited about this one. I am a little on the fence about her ability slash setup, but I believe her fashion frame, her kind of uh, the theme around her is very interesting. So I'm eagerly trying to get in and play around with her, uh, play with some of the fashion frame, as well as get in and play around with her abilities to see what she's capable of. But for this episode, we are going to jump in and take a look at her in terms of cosmetics and all that other good stuff. So uh, this is Zaku, our new uh, broken frame. So very interesting. We'll jump in real quick. If you are interested in her collection as a whole, you can pick it up here for 581 uh, platinum, it's a bit much, but it is coming with the whole frame, which I believe individually sells for, what, 325 Yeah, so pretty expensive. I did have to purchase this bundle. I'm not currently partnered with Warframe uh, until I get my application through, and who knows if I even get accepted. Um, previous Warframe partner kind of going through the motions to get back into the swing of things, but uh, I purchased this so with my own platinum. So if you could leave a like or just throw in the comments what you think about the frame uh, so far, uh, I would be greatly appreciated. It helps the algorithm and at the same time allows me to get back in touch with you guys, jump in the comments and interact. So I'm excited about that because I am pretty excited about, like I said, jumping in and playing around with the frame. So. You can see here the bundle comes with Zaku, her alternate helmet, which I forgot to actually take a look at briefly when I set up a little bit of fashion frame. Uh, we have the Quasis, which is the uh, the fan blades, the war fans that come with her, uh, well, the collection. You can also get these another way, um, which not a big fan about war fans. Um, I'm going to try these out, but I'm likely going to kind of set her up with a totally different kind of feel in terms of her build. Uh, I'm going to make her more of like a, a warrior than kind of this elegant kind of character. I don't know. Um, there is the Cyandana, which is the Artifacts Cyandana. A little torn on this one as well, but we'll take a look at it as we get in and a little bit of boosters and stuff. But there she is in all her glory. Um, I didn't mention in the previous video, because I looked at if you're interested in Hydroid uh, the Hydroid Deluxe, there is the Deluxe down here. 250 for the whole collection. Uh, gives you the skin for the Dirija. Gives you the Spear Gun skin and the Hydroid skin. Very cool. If you want to check that video out, you can do so uh, at the end of the video in the end screen or in the corner uh, up there. There is just the regular deal if you want to get that. Uh, just, the, just the skin itself. But uh, this Deluxe, or not Deluxe, but Infested Bundle here, um, I'm going to be just briefly showing these weapons in when we go take a look in the arsenal there is the zymos which is a pistol uh headshots burrow in and explode releasing spore clouds that seek out nearby enemies pretty interesting i'm really excited to get in some more infested weapons and all that type of stuff in this update um just i, I really like the infested uh you know the whole infested deal um, so there's the pistol. There is also these really awesome looking claws, the Caratinos. Uh, leave your mark with these infected claws uh, with increased heavy attack range, heavy attack at max combo to keep the extended range and slam radius for three minutes. Uh, just really cool looking claws. I'm really excited to get in and play around with these. And a Cyandana, which comes as well, which is this really weird pulsating Cyandana. Um, I forgot to put this on and check it out, but that is the first thing I'm going to do when I get there, so I don't forget. So we'll take a look at that, which is back here. But anyways, let's jump over and get a look at all of the goodies. Uh, we're getting in Zaku. Um, first off, we'll take a look at her Cyandana, then I'll switch it over to the one I just mentioned. It's uh, the Cyandana that comes with her bundle. It's kind of this jagged, almost lightning bolt-esque Cyandana, which is supposed to give the appearance of like a crack, uh, which broken, you know, something that is has a has a crack or is you know broken apart, kind of give that aesthetic feel for the Cyandana. Um, I think it's okay. I could see myself putting this on maybe like uh, Revenant because of that little kind of. Uh, I don't want to say it's it's. Um, uh, sentient, but it does kind of have that weird organic mechanical feel. Does that that does if that makes any sense? But it's interesting. Uh, I like it, but I 
don't know how often I'll use it because there's so many amazing Cyandanas in game. But there you have it. Let's uh, swap it over to take a look at the infested one. I think it started with an S, if I am correct. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yes, the Sordario. Um, it's kind of like, it almost looks like infested coral. Like it's, it kind of protrudes off her back uh, more than I thought it would, but kind of protrudes off the back, kind of has these like vent-like spore releasers or something, um, but a definitely infested feel going on with that one the little pulsating little bits back here oh it's, it's but it's really cool at the same time so uh if you're hyped about that i don't i think it's neat i think it's a neat saiyan donna but uh i don't know it'll it'll probably end up on like my one of my nida setups uh if we get some more infested feels if you do buy uh tenogen say from Baljorn, who does some of the infested stuff or the new night hunter stuff like the nidus night hunter or the uh the new saren night hunter that's coming this would look probably pretty good on those um very very cool but uh let me just throw back her original cyan donna just for just for the aesthetic uh, this is the default color scheme for the frame um oh yeah weapons there is the Zymos, which we saw previously, there it is. Looks, ugh, but good at the same time because it's a Fessid. Um, I'm really excited to play around with this just for the like burrowing explosivity kind of thing that it has going on. So very excited to play around with this. The Caratinos, very cool looking claws. Uh, this one's kind of like, kind of bust. I don't want to say it's busted up, but its growth pattern is different from this one which is interesting. Uh, it's almost like this is the finisher claw and this is like the primary, you know, right hand hook kind of claw. I don't know. Um, pretty interesting. I like it. I really like it. I'm really eager to play around with these as well. So, uh, and then uh, the Zymos is, you know, we can, we can just pull this off real quick because there's no other secondary for us to look at. But if we want to look at her Quasis, yeah, the Quasis, um, these are her war fans. They look interesting. Um, like I said, I'm not crazy about war fans at the current moment. Um, I have like a war fans on my Garuda and cause I like to, I don't know, I kind of give her like this evil, elegant gore fest kind of frame. Um, uh, maybe this will end up on my Garuda. I don't know, but, uh, it looks good. It does have the little energy flow that we'll see with, uh, with Zaku. Um, cause those are the, like the en energy tendrils that kind of hold her together, but I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about her aesthetic, um, at least default aesthetic. Uh, I have some fashion frames we'll go through, check, take a look at. I think, for the most part, she can look really, really cool. So we'll jump in. We'll randomize this one in just a little bit. But jumping into my B slot, we have her, first of all, her uh, noble animation, which is pretty interesting. And kind of a, I want to say a medieval knight slash i don't know a future cyborg feel does that make sense i kind of as though she's fashioned around armor plating that a medieval knight might have so for instance like this metallic metals on her and kind of like her mask but at the same time she is a warframe she is very cyborg like so i wanted to give that feel to come across as well um i really like this i threw that orange metallic in there because it just pops a little bit um you could maybe swap this out if you wanted to go with something more say steel like if you wanted to give her just a like i said that very steel like design you could go for something like that um if you, you could give it a little bit of a bluish tinge so you could get into something more of that that kind of shape or that kind of shape um pretty interesting you could stick with something that's still you know like gold you know or or that kind of feel pretty interesting as well this gives me kind of that orican vibes which i really really enjoy but i don't know uh, i've kind of left it like that because i like the popping orange so we have that looking really really cool we'll jump over to our c slot which is something a little bit more i don't know uh i'm not exactly sure how to describe this one i kind of had a whole thing for the last one but i don't know i like this design i like the blue metallics that kind of go with this the armor plate is more copper um, which is you know a little bit off but it's fits well with the aesthetic that white light color i think is pretty good a lot of my frames end up with a kind of a primary white with like a popping color scheme 
a lot of them end up being blue, so I went with that for this one. I think it looks good. I think it looks good overall. Um, we will jump over to the D slot. Something a bit more abstract, but kind of with like an earthy sand like texture. Um, very earthy, like a dark, dark purple uh, that goes in there. This, once again, kind of an orange metallic, but with a very like emerald um, base. Uh, you see in here, which doesn't, it comes down all the way to the accents, but there's something unique about this frame, which is kind of her broken design, which we'll see here. We'll go back and check out all our, all our frames and their broken look, but it's very, I don't know, something we can just kind of briefly touch on. But when she breaks apart and uses her abilities, she breaks down to the skeletal type look. And at the base, like, uh, the base level of this is that emerald look, which, like I said, when it's in its whole form, covered up by more of this like metallic-y, earthy kind of sandy color, um, which I really, really like. Uh, if you wanted to, another another change would be swapping this metallic out. Um, you could go into that emerald look and make this more of that emerald frame, um, which has really been growing on me recently with some of my fashion framing, but you could go, you know, swap it out, get into some of the more metallics again. But like I said, because, of it's, because it's earthy, kind of like that earthy look. Maybe jump in here and play around with some of the more uh, emerald-like colors. You know, I don't know. Um, maybe even something just a very dark, like, gunmetal, like, uh, silver? I don't know. Pretty interesting, but I like that look right here. E-slot kind of goes down that avenue where we took something that's a little bit emerald, but turned it into a much more, like I said, medieval knight, something more uh, like, like steel. Uh, got still some of that emerald kind of color scheme in there, but everything is kind of designed to be around like a steel or armored frame. Um, very cool. And then F slot, something very, very earthy, something that would be more as though, because it's a broken frame pieced together from, I think, three different Warframes, this would be almost as though you pieced together something like an Anaros. Um, and something that is, uh, like you can see in her, in her arm and her leg, uh, these look very, uh, like, engineered, something that is a little bit more high-tech, so I'd say, like, if you took an Anaros, patched it together with, like, a Protea, and then, I don't know, some other, some other frame to kind of make Zaku a broken frame pieced together from other Warframes, I felt like this kind of gives that feel. A dark tech look a uh, very uh, like ancient Egyptian or a Naros like look and then something that is maybe at Atlas maybe a kind of an Atlas fighter kind of brawler kind of feel I feel like this may be patched up from those three frames we'll say um, but something that kind of has your own made up lore in your head that kind of makes the design make sense so I like it pretty cool looking once again like I said we'll jump in just take a look at the broken designs so there is this frame broken down into its gold pattern. We'll have this last one, which we kind of saw, broken down into kind of like an emerald-ish pattern. This one uh, we saw before, very broken down, emerald green kind of pattern. The C slot, something very bluish, something a little bit crazy, broken down into that kind of uh, sapphire, I guess, kind of kind of look. We have this one, very interesting broken down into this orange metallic uh, and then lastly is her original form you break this one down her default colors into kind of this brushed steel kind of pattern uh, pretty interesting so uh, the other thing I want to look at we saw this animation here uh, which is kind of her more feminine uh, noble edge of animation um, something that might be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, I suppose this is a bit aggressive. Well, it's a little bit dark, so let's take this one, show her other animation, which I really, really like, but I felt like it wasn't the best to show off her as we kind of rotate her around and look at her for the first time, but her agile animation is a bit more aggressive, a bit more unhinged. She looks as though she could break at any moment. Yeah, yeah, get what I was saying? Yeah, okay. Um, but very, very cool look. I really like it. Um, I'm, I'm not like over the moon and in, uh, in love with her fashion frame kind of design. Um, it is very interesting, but you know, I don't, I don't hate it. I definitely don't hate it. I feel like it gives a little bit of that, um, you know, darker night kind of, kind of feel. Um, I think I'm gonna swap this one back over just quick for noble animation, just to get a good look at it. And lastly, almost forgot 
her alternate helmet, which is here. The top looks like it's, for the most part, uh, like, I don't want to say hollow, but a bit empty-ish. Um, so let's let's just throw this onto each one of our, our designs. So we take the original setup, swap it over. Um, it looks decent. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not too sure on her alternate helmet. While it does look good, I... I, re I, I really like the default. I don't know. It's a bit more slimlined, and I kind of like that about it. Um, we have that one kind of set up like that, and then this last one set up more like that. I don't think it looks bad. Uh, I kind of do like this little uh, accent piece up here on the back of the helmet, which is kind of interesting, but I don't know. It looks, it looks good, but... Like I said, I really like the slim line version of this one. Um, it just tickles my fancy uh, a little bit more than the, uh, you know, the extra, the, the, I don't know, the other helmet. So I'm going to swap all these back real quick. Um, it's not really necessary. My bad. We'll go through and randomize our first loadout slot. We'll go bam. Oh, I think one of these I was going to change. Maybe it was this one just to give you guys a little bit of an extra look. I don't know, anyway, jump in, A slot. Um, hopefully, I don't have to buy another Zaku because I fall in love too much with one of our fashion frames and I just have to do, buy a whole nother, she's 325 platinum, guys. Anyways, uh, I spent too much platinum to make this in the, the Hydroid Deluxe video. I spent 1,200 platinum or so. Okay, um, let's go and da -da 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 -da, random color schemes. All right. Eh, not too bad. I could work with that one. Uh, I could probably work with that one as well. Ooh, something a bit crazier. Uh, this, just in general, I don't think looks good, but I feel like you could either go the route of the purple and go a little bit more like a lotus kind of frame, or you could go the route of playing with the red kind of whatever and make it a little edgy. I feel like there's potential there. Um, something a little bit greener, more organic. Uh, maybe playing around with that emerald kind of feel, but... I don't I feel like I could work with that. This, this is a good example of as though there were three different frames just destroyed and mangled that came together and made one frame, um, mostly because all the colors are so opposite of each other, but not for me. I really like having that good unified color scheme like this. This, I feel like... I like it. I feel like one of the other ones we have is a little bit too similar to this, so I won't save this one, but a good example of something that looks, you know, really good. Even even that helmet kind of kind of pops on this one. Um, I don't know. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, playing around with a little yellow in there. Okay. I could see it. Uh, that doesn't do it for me. This plays into the avenue of one of the, one of the color schemes we have, a little bit white and blue. Um, potential. Uh, I think there's a little potential down here if you wanted to go with a, a more poppy green kind of color uh, you could do that um, eh, that looks like a piece together hydroid and protea almost I don't know it looks it looks like it has some interest a little a little interesting another earthy kind of frame uh, we already have an earthy frame uh, that's not too bad a little bit feminine and elegant um, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Um, wonder. I think I like this one enough to hold on to it. Maybe I swap that one. We kind of do have something that's a little bit emerald-like. Ooh. Ooh. I, uh, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate to do this. I hate to do this. I'm... I do this way too often because I cannot make up my mind and we are on a very short, short time frame. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? That is like 1500 platinum I have spent just to make these videos. Please, <laughs> please like the video guys. Like it, please. I mean, if you don't like it, you don't have to, but um, goodness, I am just blowing through platinum today. Um, I could play with that. I could pull this off, jump in. Ooh, even that red kind of seems to kind of fit. Um, 
And I want to jump into something a little bit more emerald-like. We'll go into the rot. Ooh. Actually, playing with something like that, right there, fits. But if we want to go into the emeralds, and it might be a little bit too much green. You know what I mean? Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's let's do something like that. I might play around with it on my own time. But let's go through randomize again. Come up with something unique. Ooh. That I, I the metallic really popped for me. So playing around with this, go into something a bit brighter. Swap out the blue. Okay. Uh, let's get to closer to something in that palette. The hatred palette. Ah, you could go, you could go black. I don't know. Uh, fire and the fire palette. Something sandy. A little bit sandy. That piques a little bit of interest. Uh, this gives me, yeah, kind of like a, a uh, like an ancient. I don't know. I don't want to go ancient Egyptian. Um, almost as though, you know, there's the theory that aliens built the Egyptian pyramids and stuff like that. This almost gives me, like, a, a, an ancient alien Egyptian. You know what I mean? I don't know. Kind of feel. Because it's got the high tech, but it's also, like, molded in with, like, sand-like, uh, stony type textures. It gives me that kind of feel. I don't know. I might play around with it. I might completely wipe it from the existence, but um, there's some potential with a little bit of a lotus -y type color scheme. Um, I don't know. I, I The other thing is jumping in and finding out the lore about Zaku, if there's anything we actually uh, get to learn about her as a frame be because of the Heart of Deimos or whatever, you can then maybe design a whole fashion frame around her lore. Um, maybe she was a devote lotus you know uh kind of character or maybe she was opposed to the lotus i don't know you know or maybe she's just i don't know um that might just flesh out how you fashion frame her so um interesting i feel like there was some potential in a couple of those that i just passed um we'll go a little bit more kind of like a, a magma oh i really like how this metallic like Upper or I don't know, like just accents with this high end or high bright metallic orange. This feels very volcanic to me, and I like it. So I might play around with this one. I think I'm gonna leave it there. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Um, <laughs> I'm doing a lot of just just showing you guys stuff from the update. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so. If you guys want to stick around, uh, watch some additional content from the Heart of Deimos, maybe playing around with some stuff in the Heart of Deimos, playing around with the Entrati family and maybe the rewards and other stuff like that, be feel or be feel, be feel to subscribe. Uh, <laughs> anyways, thank you. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Blah!